process is one word to describe printmaking because it's from beginning to end and then pulling up a print when you're done is pretty incredible. I think the printmaking department is sort of an up-to-the-minute contemporary practice right now. Uh, I think we're exposed to so many different elements and we're sort of allowed to be free and exploratory of these processes. We utilize every facet of technology that ever existed. Everything from, you know, like a stone to wood block to silk screen and to digital prints. Because of that, everything's possible. You have the space, you have the materials, you have the machinery here to make whatever's in your head. What's amazing about being in this workshop is an atelier style, which means that everything is open. At any point, you can see students working away, and that kind of dynamic energy kind of permeates throughout the print shop. Every student can see what other students are doing, and as a faculty, I can see that at the corner of my eyes, and every day is a surprise. Digital prints, performance, video, other materials, 3D, installation, whatever it is. I mean, there are so many different possibilities that are being done. And we have the space to be able to do that. The studio space is, is amazing. It's, this is, I think, one of the biggest departments at MassArt. First of all, it's massive. I think it used to be two basketball courts. So we have a lot of space here in printmaking. You have your own studio, and there's plenty of space to work and sort of explore your own processes. It's nice to have your own separate area. We have good lighting, nice windows, so you can see outside. I like how everyone is fairly closely knit. You know, in critique, we're super close. No one really ever gets offended by any of the critiques. We help each other with our processes, and we go on trips together. So we basically have a multi-layer family. I think there's a lot of versatility in the department. The professors really let you work freely. The department lets you sort of, you know, decide like what kind of work you want to do and they try to make you the best at it. They mean well and they want to bring out the, the best in you. If students don't do interesting work, then this job feels like a job. We're here because students are good, students are interested, and the students are making amazing work. And uh, it's a pleasure just to witness all of that. Uh, I think it's very, very open-ended. There is no right way, of course, in art in general, but in printmaking, it's definitely true. And we're encouraging students all the time to both learn the traditional aspects of the printmaking media, but also to invent and stretch the boundaries as much as they possibly can. Starting out, there you don't have that flexibility because you're just learning the techniques, but I feel like as you like stick with something and you grow with it, you're going to challenge yourself more with it, and you're going to get a sense of what people expect, and you can decide if you want to do what is unexpected. The combination of having the sensibility or the desire to develop a craft simultaneously with the absolute necessity of taking risks and going into the unknown, that combination that exists in printmaking is the very thing that allows them to forge all kinds of territories outside of school. The way that your mind develops in here, you're very disciplined and you have to think on many levels how something's gonna work. So I think you can apply a lot of these traditional elements that we use here in the print shop to a lot of real world scenarios. Not just creative, you can bring this into any part of your life, I think. Printmaking is a tool, and how you use the tool is based on the individual.